Hello guys, it's Eli here with a new guide on Demon Hunters. This time it's a beginner's guide for those who might be just starting up their Demon Hunter or those who might be interested in creating an old Demon Hunter and don't know what to go for. I've had plenty of people asking me questions about this so I decided to create a video just for this. It would only contain crafted gear. As you probably know by now, Blizzard removed all the special materials required to craft the different set or legendary items available at Blacksmith after you found the patterns, of course, so the only thing you'll be needing is common debris, vile crystals, arcane dust and forgotten souls. As a general idea for this, I've used around 1000 crystals, 500 arcane dusts and around 30 forgotten souls, including rerolling the items. I've set a goal to only create max one of each item and reroll it 2-3 times on average. You'll notice I'm also using low rank gems since most new players won't have access to the high end ones. The guide is split into three parts, the gearing plus gemming, the build and actual gameplay. It should allow you to go from a freshly dinged demon hunter to a torment 3 to 4 capable one depending on luck with crafts, rolls and whatnot. For gearing I will also assume you don't have a ring of rogue grandeur. This will all be built around the general cluster hour build which I will cover later on in the guide. For weapons you'll want to craft an arcane barb, two hand crossbow with the archfiend quiver. The stats you'll want to have on a crossbow are basically high average damage, percent damage, dexterity and a socket. As for the quiver, dexterity, vitality, crit chance, increased attack speed and cluster arrow damage. The armor. Again, this is without ring of rogue grandeur, however the slots I pick for different armor pieces are so they ease you into regearing once you do acquire one. Otherwise it would be slightly different choices. For Bracers you have all guild search, you'll want percent fire damage, dexterity, vitality and crit chance. For the shoulders all guilds power with vitality, dexterity, all resist and percent life. For chest all guilds rule with vitality, dexterity, all resist and 3 sockets. These 3 items combined will give you a toughness buff against normal mobs, 7% less damage taken from melee and ranged attacks, as well as a toughness and damage bonus against elites. 15% less damage taken while you also will be doing 15 more percent damage against elites. For the gloves you want a Shira's Ward with Dexterity, Vitality, Crit Chance and Crit Damage. For the boots a Shira's Finders, Dexterity, Vitality, All Resist and Cluster Arrow Damage. For the pants a Shira's Pace with Dexterity, Vitality, All Resist and 2 Sockets. These 3 items will give you 20% more life as well as 100 All Resist. For the helmet, Sages with Dexterity, Vitality, Crit Chance and a Socket. For the belt, any rare will do with Dexterity, Vitality, All Resist and Percent Life, which should be pretty easy to get. Now, there is another way you could go, but I chose these items for more toughness, since the Demon Hunter isn't that friendly towards new players due to its squishiness. However, if you feel comfortable with it, you could choose to craft the Reaper's Wraps for more hatred from Globes and all guilds headpiece instead of Sages. Sages has a guaranteed socket, whereas all guilds has all resist. As secondary stats, you'll want to get life after kill and pick up radius on whatever you can. Please keep in mind I mentioned what ideal stats you want on the gear pieces, you won't always be able to get those without crafting multiple pieces. However, anything should work. As for gemming, you'll want green gems in chest, 3 of them, pants 2, weapons 1 and helmet go for purple percent life gem. On to the jewelry then. We'll have rare items here, 2 rings with average damage, dexterity, crit chance, crit damage. As for the amulet you'll want percent fire damage, dexterity, crit chance and crit damage. For future reference you'll want a stone of Jordan with percent fire damage, dexterity, crit chance or crit damage and high percent lead damage, replacing one of these rings as well as a unity of or a ring of royal grandeur depending on your gear setup on the other ring slot. Sadly I had to cheat a bit for this since I didn't have a rare amulet so I went with the one I already had on my other demon hunter but that's about it. On to the build then. Here you'll be using the extremely common cluster arrow build that has been around since launch until you manage to get your hands on the Mara 6 set. Mark for death with Grim Reaper to debuff the elites, one of them to take 20% more damage while the rest will take 15% of the damage you'll be doing to the main target. Reign of Vengeance with Flying Strike to keep the elite pack stunned so you can get a nice burst going before they start dropping affixes and spreading out. Companion with Wolf to buff yourself with 30% damage for 10 seconds on elite packs. You'll have Smokescreen with Healing Vapors on the 4th slot to heal yourself and become immune or break CC when frozen, feared, or Vault, I prefer this, with Tumble to move around faster and also get out of affixes fast. Might be better for new players though to go with Smokescreen for the immunity plus heal. 
Your generator will be entangling shot with just as it's served. To slow the mobs, generate 6 hatred on each shot and apply the call the weak debuff. 20% more damage done to slow targets. By the way, try to keep this up on elite packs. As for your spender, you'll have cluster arrow with loaded for bear. As for your passives, blood vengeance for resource regen from globes, steady aim for 20% more damage, kill the weak for 20% more damage against low targets, and ambush for some burst against full HP targets. Generally what you want to do is put up slow on an elite pack with your generator, mark for death and then use both wolf and rain of vengeance and unload the full bar of hatred. This should kill most elite packs on torment 4 by the time the stun wears out. Well, that's about it guys, and now for some gameplay on Torment 4, hope you found this useful and don't forget to like and subscribe if so for more guides in the future, until next time. Hatred is too low.
more hasty to do that. to do that.
hatred is too low. Too low, not ready yet. <laughs> 